live stream. Uh, today, we will be playing some more Castlevania III Dracula's Curse. Um, the hope is that we will, we will probably, we will get through at least one more playthrough. I'm going to try and see if we can get through two more playthroughs. I don't know if that's possible, but it's worth a go. So let me just get some stuff set up. Hey, Chivas, I'm doing okay. Um, not much happened today, but I am hoping that we have a good live stream. Uh, by the way, the winner of the poll was, um, oh, you noticed something is new. What's new? Did I do something wrong, or curious what you're referring to? Um, but anyways, uh, you can actually see it in the stream title, or if... Oh, yes, crowd control. Uh, I, I am basically planning to do that in the future. I don't have a timeline on that. Um, it shouldn't be active at this point. Oh, is it active? All right, I gotta deactivate that, but... It won't, act, don't actually worry about that. It won't do anything right now. But I, I plan for that to, um, to be working in the future. And yes, you are right, trash man. But basically what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be playing Castlevania 3 again. But this time we are going to be playing uh, as Trevor, obviously still, because you have to play as Trevor. He's the main playable character. But we will also be playing as Alucard because uh, in the Twitter poll that I ran, uh, Alucard won by actually a pretty significant margin. So we're going to be doing our second run as Alucard, or as Trevor and Alucard. And if we get to a third run tonight, which I don't know if we will, basically if we finish the game in less than one and a half hours, we'll do we'll do the next run. If not, I'll just end the stream early. Um, it, it'll I guess it'll just depend on how it goes. I don't want to spend too long if we on doing two runs, but I also don't want to, you know, I do want to eventually move on to the other game as much as I love Castlevania 3, if that makes any sense. All right, uh, I think we're ready to go at this point. Uh, yeah. Oh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. One second. All right. Who's next? Alucard is. Uh, oh, who's, oh, you mean after Alucard? Uh, Sifa was the winner of the other poll. So the order we're going to be doing it in is Alucard, Sifa, Grant. I will admit, I am slightly annoyed that Grant's lost both polls, because he's actually my favorite of the three. But that's the way that's the way the cookie crumbles. Say la vie. All right, I do notice my computer is whirring a little bit. Hopefully that will slow down in a minute. Um, but we are going to start. Yeah, Grant's gonna be last, unfortunately, which is unfortunate, which like I said, is unfortunate, but what are you gonna do? All right, yep, you was starting to slow down. Oh, all right, well, give me a second because my controller is having a, little, a couple of problems, hold on. Yep. All right, let me, let me open Steam again because for some reason the controller was not working. All right, just apologies for that. I just, that happens sometimes. Um, There we go. All right, it's working now. There we go. All right, let me just fix that up. And all right, we're good to go. So we're just gonna, like I said, we're gonna jump right in, uh, start game. Like I said, don't worry about crowd control for now. I will fix that after the stream. Uh, we're just gonna go to opening. Um, I guess we'll enter I don't want to enter help me because I, I if you enter the code help me it actually gives you a lot of lives but I'm worried that'll disable the achievements so instead I'm just going to what do you mean Grant sucks well what kind of what kind of thing is that what kind of statement is that that is that is untrue Grant is awesome uh, crowd control is basically something that allows the the viewers to impact how the game plays uh, I'll just input Alu oh whoops I'll just input Alu card. Actually, let's just do Trevor again, just because um, I don't want to, you know. Because technically we are still playing as Trevor, so we'll just... No, not Trevage, Trevor. Nope. There we go. Let's go with that. May as well name yourself Alucard. I don't want to, just in case that's like a code or something. I'm trying to do this with no codes. All right. So, let's go, Trevor. All right, if I remember correctly... 
All right, well, first of all, the beginning of this run is gonna be very similar to the last run. Um, the only difference is that we'll be grabbing Alucard in that one stage, so. I'm gonna try and go a little bit faster this time just because we already saw all this, but I don't wanna go too fast because then I will definitely die. I'm still annoyed that you think Grant sucks, Matt. Grant is awesome. I don't know, I don't know why you think Grant sucks. How do we get Alucard? We have to, we have to beat him in a boss fight in, I wanna say stage three or four. I don't remember which one. Not Sifa, we'll, 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 well, we'll be doing Sifa next. Oh my God. I don't know what to say to that. Alright, grab that. Freaking bats. Like I said, the beginning of this playthrough will be very similar to the last one. It's that when we get to when we get when we play as Alucard, that's when things will start getting really different. And yeah, I'd rather have the holy water. Alright. I'm good with 21. Watch out for the skeleton. That is exactly why I saved there. I realized that was a better idea. Is there a wall chicken? <laughs> this theme is so good. Be beginning is just... Uh, I didn't mention it last time, but this song is called Beginning. It's one of my favorite songs on the NES. It's so good. I'll take a hit there, whatever. I'm, I'm sure there's a wall chicken in here somewhere. Actually, I, if anything, it's probably right over here. No? Okay. Okay, I guess, I guess no wall chicken. At least not right now. I'm, like I said, I'm sure there's one over here. Whoa, that skeleton was good, doing like a kamikaze. That was interesting. Wall chicken? No. No wall chicken there. Alright, time for some Medusa heads. As somebody who wasn't able to see the beginning of the stages of the last one, this looks like an opening stage. It is indeed. I was worried about that. All right. Thankfully, this first boss is pretty easy, but okay, that's not good. Right. I don't want to take too many more hits, so. No, I want to save the replay. No, no none there. All right, I love this game. Oh, I'll take the the axe is definitely gonna be the most useful weapon against the boss, so I'll take it. Alright. Go with this. Oh, I'll definitely want that, since that defeats all the enemies at once. The only question is how do we fight the giant mechanoloid? This isn't Mega Man X2. Hold on a second, this is not Mega Man X2. Alright. Okay. Or I, I really most of the Mega Man X games are have a giant mechanoloid, but I, the one I think of the like first is uh, Giant Mechanoloid CF Zero from uh, X Two. All right, let's take out the stupid uh, Hunchback. I don't want to deal with the Hunchbacks. I really need to watch the Castlevania anime. I heard it's so good. There we go. When does Sky Lagoon fall? This isn't Mega Man X4 either. Oh, you think of Mao the Giant from X3. Fair enough. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Oh, whoops. That's exactly why I saved there, because I figured that was going to happen. Oh, uh, I don't want the stopwatch just because the stopwatch doesn't work on bosses, so I. Oh, geez. Yeah. Let's try that again. I'll take that, though. An instant enemy killer. Oh, poop. All right, I guess we're going with the stopwatch for now. Unless I respawn or unless I save. Eh, dagger's fine. Would like the axe though. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna reload. All right, I'm actually good on heart, so I'm just gonna not whip any candles for now. This will be fine. I guess you don't need to walk up those stairs, considering that's a low enough of a platform where you can just jump up. But whatever. All right. 
Should be close to the end of the stage. Yeah, should be right here. Oh, I'll take the wall chick. No, that's not a, that's not a chicken. That's the shield of the of the enemy. Alright. Alright, let's just do that. Oh jeez. This'll be this 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 is not going particularly well. Oh jeez. There we go. Got him. Alright, where's that red orb? I wanna catch it in midair. Well, I didn't do that, but I did get the red orb, so that's nice. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna go down again at the, at this. Oh, and yes, I will hydrate. Uh, I'm gonna go down again at this point because if we go up, we'll we, we'll we'll uh, we'll get to Grant, and I fi personally find the stage going up is harder, so we're gonna avoid that for now because going up leads you to Grant, and we're going for Alucard first. So let me save here and hydrate. <laughs> the bats from X1 really hate Trevor, yeah. Castlevania map is Undertale opening confirmed. I'm not sure how you, how that makes sense, but I'm sure there's like a reference I'm missing. I mean, I've played Undertale. Speaking of which, actually, Undertale got announced to be coming to Xbox One today, which is a little surprising, actually, because I remember back when the game first launched, it was on, well, it first launched on PC, obviously, and then it came to Switch and eventually PS4 and Vita. But I did not think that game was gonna be on Xbox One. So that was a bit of an interesting surprise. Um, oh, I'm dead. I'm not dead, I just didn't mean to take that hit. Uh, all right. Get some hearts. Right here. I didn't mean to use holy water there, but whatever. All right. There's so much more annoying in Maverick Hunter. There we go, we would rather have the ax than the uh, holy water here. Holy water's good, but in this stage, ax is better. What do you mean? There's, there's Undertale is on PS4. It is most certainly on PS4. Order went PC, Mac, PS4, Vita, Switch, and then Xbox. Oh, it went to PS4 first. My bad. I thought it was on Switch first for some reason. I'm dumb. Yeah, I'll use the axe. Dang it. Yeah. Okay, I'm just being really dumb. Really? Okay, come on. I'm not that bad at this game. Really? Okay, can I please stop being really bad at this game? By the way, for mods, that link is, is literally the PlayStation link, so don't don't take it down. I know that there's a lot of like really sus links out there, but that one that one is fine. I don't want the cross. There we go. I'm using a lot of hearts here, but I also don't want to get hit by those owls, so I'm okay with using a bunch of hearts. Like I said, the axe is definitely the weapon you want to use here. Right. Nice. Not the most clean run of that, but I'll take it. Save. There we go. Like that, uh, I don't think we can go that way. I think that, for some reason that kind of looks like a platform. Yeah, I, I figured that wasn't a platform. I just wanted to make sure. Really game? Oh, come on. I beg to differ there. All right. Oh, I, I want to use it. No, I want to use the ax. Fine. There we go. All right. There we go. I'll take it. Oh. Well, okay. Guess I guess I have to reload now. Ugh, dang it. I'm just trying to take as little damage as I can here because oh, really? Because I because this this level can be a little annoying sometimes. All right. Get him down here. Then we're gonna walk. And then up here. Again, sorry for all the safe stating, but not too confident in my Castlevania abilities, unfortunately. 
There we go. Hunchbacks. There we go. Nice. Definitely making more progress more quickly than in the last playthrough. Mostly because I don't have to read through everything. Uh, I wonder if we can... No, we can't really go that way, so... Through here. And there we go. Alright, this time we have to go down again, because going up will lead us to Sifa, so let's go down so we can get Alucard. No problem. Right. Yep, let's go down so we can get Alley card. Oh geez. Dang it. The stupid frogs. Ooh, that was that was good. I like that. Dang it! We let there be a wall chicken in here somewhere. Oh my god. I'm begging for a wall chicken. Uh, I don't want the dagger. Okay, I guess we're having the... Never mind. Oh, you mean the color tones? I mean, all right. All right, all right yeah, I'm gonna use the axe here. Ooh, I think I killed two of them at once. Not bad. Whoops. Right, yeah, let's just jump. That way those guys don't catch up. To I made the same mistake twice. Grab that. Oh, come on. All right, there we go. Yes, we will be getting all three partners. Well, or, or, sorry, I should specify. You cannot get all three partners at once. No. You can. You, you have to do three separate playthroughs, basically. Um, so one, because you can only get one partner at a time. If you get, if you reach a, a second partner, like if you have Grant and you reach um Sifa or Alucard, then basically Grant leaves for the other two to take to take um his place. So we have to do three playthroughs, which is unfortunate, but what are you gonna do? Right. We'll definitely be switching to Alucard once we get him though, because he's pretty awesome. And we'll definitely take that. Oh, holy water's pretty good. No, I, I was thinking, I thought that was gonna be something, but I guess not. All right. Dang it. Okay, that was a little close. It's an NES Castlevania game, not Final Fantasy. I mean, technically you're right. Yeah, it's not good. I'm gonna reload that. Ugh, that's... I really wish I kept the axe now, because... Yeah. Alright. Uh, that's decent, but not great. I really need a wall chicken. And I don't remember where all the wall chicken placements are, so... I'm just gonna go down. <laughs> Not risking that. Feels like, oh, I don't want the stopwatch, that's for sure. All right, wall chicken? No. And I'm dead, great. All right, yeah, let's try that again. All right, I'll just walk past these guys and then do this. I definitely want the uh, cross though, because the cross is pretty good. Let me take out this guy. Alright. Why is why why are chickens even in the wall? I do not know. That is a series staple for some reason. Alright, yeah, I'm not gonna whip that candle that time, because that is going to be uh oh geez. That 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 would be a uh stopwatch and we don't want that, at least for now. Jump over you. Ah. Why are you hitting the floor looking for wall chicken? Because it can appear... I, don't, I shouldn't be hitting the floor, but it does appear in certain floors as well. Even Dracula couldn't do that. <laughs> I 
just need that. Oh, jeez. Okay, when I made that jump, I thought it was going to fall, but I did not, thankfully. Right. Dang it. I did get hit by that bat, though. I'll take that. Nice. I think I got a one-up from that one. Okay, here's the boss. Alright. And I already took a hit. Great. Alright. All right. I think I remember how to kill these. this guy. I think I just gotta do that. Okay, that's not good. There we go. Nice. All right, nice. Well, that was that was a decent, that was a fun stage. All right, on to the next stage. All right, this is where we'll we will uh we'll see Alucard. Can't get that, unfortunately. All right. Now we can now. All right. We can go down there and grab that candle, I guess. Although, I don't really see how. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's just wait for this, uh... The salt to basically... Boil through here. You thought Alucard was the last boss? Nope, that is Dracula. Is the last boss. Come on, where's the salt water? There we go. Probably something good in this. Nice! There's a bit of a shortcut here. Do not jump into the spikes, obviously. That would be very bad. Wait for the fire to go, and we can just go down here. Take some hearts. Didn't think there'd be wall chicken in there, but just wanted to check. Um, no, it's, it's the boss coming up. I forgot, it's my bad. We, we did still have to go down this path, otherwise we wouldn't reach the uh, boss. No, that was not Alucard. That was just a random bat. Alucard is going to be the boss coming up. I do want to wait for the the uh, droplets though here, because I know the bottom the bottom path we didn't take it last we didn't take the bottom path last time, so I want to take it this time. It'll cost us a little bit of time here, but it's no big deal. I need one more to be uh, you know I need one more droplet. There we go. And I completely messed it up. Let's try that again. save right here. And now we basically wait a little bit. This is another good time for questions if you guys have them. We're gonna have to wait a minute. Just whip in place for now. Jumping and whipping. I know I know that like doing this is one of uh, Simon's win win animations in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Kind of like this. Although obviously he's not using his 8-bit sprite. Although remember we're not playing as Simon we're playing as Trevor here. All right, I'm gonna wait for it to go one more down because I feel like if I don't, um, I'll miss my jump. All right, this should work. There we go. Oh, I'll take a one-up, that's very useful. All right, we have 500 seconds, so we should be able to get through this, but just in case, I'm a little concerned about that. All right, let's see, so yeah, let's take the bottom path this time and immediately jump into a bottomless pit, great. There we go. This is a little more dangerous because obviously we have the uh, these spiky guys to worry about, but we should be okay. We're here. Once again, we're gonna have to wait for the droplets, unfortunately. What are you gonna do? So. Oh, I got the da The dagger's fine. I just wish I didn't whip that candle and eh, whatever. Cause I can't really, oh, I guess I could jump through here and do that, but whatever. All right, time for more waiting. That's rather unfortunate. Can you whip the blocks? No, you can't. You have to, you have to uh, wait for the droplets. All right. All right. Do, do, do. Wait, wasting a little bit of time or whatever. No, no matter, 
What, any Konami or Capcom game needs bottomless pits? To be fair, most platforming games have bottomless pits. All right, I'm gonna... Wait, I need to wait one more minute so I can get... So that drop, that, that one also needs to... There we go, okay. Now I can go down here. We'll take this path instead of the upper path. I know we took the upper path last time, so this will be a little bit different. Whoops, missed my dagger shot. Take that, though. Jump. I don't, I don't know if we took the upper or lower path last time, but we're taking the lower path again. I think we took the upper path last time all the way through, so. Just keep going. Alright. There. I forget what this song is called, but this one's also pretty good. It's a little more atmospheric. Uh, how do we get past here? Not like that. I guess we have to wait till that uh, spike thing rises all the way up. No, not like that either. Hmm. There we go. A little bit of a tight jump, but no big deal. Ooh, that was close. Oh, I'm, I'm dumb. Shout, and there. Nice. Would like a better weapon, but we don't get it, it's fine. Let's see. Just gotta watch out for those spike things, because I do not want to get hit by the spikes. That would be very bad. Is that a what is that nope, it's just a heart. I don't really need many more hearts right now. And it's another heart. Alright, jump over you. I uh, didn't want to get hit there, but I'll just roll with it. That I will not roll with, though. That is not good. Okay. There. Take that. Definitely take the axe. That's much better than the uh, dagger. Right. Up here. Oop. Watch out for that guy. Which I can just take out with... I was about to say take him out with an axe, but I need to be up here first. Alright, this is the Alucard boss, right over here. And this time... So, last time, basically, we... Um, we didn't actually... Uh... We didn't actually take Alucard with us. This time, we will be taking Alucard with us. Of course, I got hit there like an idiot. This boss fight isn't super difficult, just... Of course, I'm messing up a little bit. But I think I should be okay. Okay, that's not good. I'm, I'm really messing up here. Okay, that was really good. There we go, got him. So this time, we will accept Alucard's help, and he will assist us on our quest. Last time, we did not accept his help. Alright. And I will hydrate. I'm surprised you beat me. I've been waiting for you. I need you to help me destroy Dracula. What will you do? Take him with you, or leave him behind? Well, we're gonna take him with us. Yep, take him with you. I'm glad to hear that. Let's get him. I am Alucard. And there we go. So now we can switch between the two uh, vampire slayers, which is nice. Yep, say hello to Alucard. Alright. Um, actually, give me a sec, I gotta hydrate. <laughs> Alright. Oh boy, came at the exact time we took Alucard? Yes, you did. Welcome, Mload. Thank you very much. Alright. 
So, if I remember correctly, the switch... Yeah, okay, so you press the minus button or the select button to switch characters, and basically Alucard's... Alucard's attack is that. It's a fast move... Okay, I'm really taking a lot of damage. Give me a second. Let me take out these stupid slimes. Can you please... Can you please die? Okay, thank you. Now I'm gonna switch to Alucard. So yeah, basically, to switch characters, you press the minus button, and now you can play as another character. So Alucard's attack is basically a fast-moving um, projectile, kind of like that. And if you get those, um, whatever those things are called, you can you can basically shoot more of them at once. So eventually, you'll, you'll be able to shoot up to three, kind of like that. Unfortunately, I am dead. Um... But his, this attack can be very, very useful, if you know what to do. Alright. Can I please... Oh my god, these guys are killing me! Oh my god! Maybe it'd be better if I use Trevor here, honestly, but... The next part, we'll use Alucard. You can switch between them just by pressing the minus button, which is great. But the only thing, the thing you have to keep in mind is that they do share the same health bar. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna use the Trevor here because it kills these guys in one hit. Oh my god, can you stop? Alright, yeah, we'll switch to Alley card for this session. I'll take the Holy Cross. Oh my god. Right. Not doing great, but that's okay. Oh great. More of these mummy guys. Please tell me there's a there's a chicken in here somewhere. Oh wait, there might be a chicken down there, actually. This fully upgraded attack resembles Dracula's pattern from Castlevania 1. Yes, you are right. Alright. Yes, they, the other characters besides Trevor do take one extra point of damage than normal, so you do have to be careful. I really hope there's a frickin' uh, chicken over here somewhere. Uh, maybe over here? No. I remember there being one on this stage. Let's go from here. And next part of the stage. Uh, this time let's go up because last time it went down. I'm a little worried about that guy. Jeez. The worst thing about Alucard is that you cannot attack while standing on stairs. Yes, that is not good. Um, no, it is not like Zero in Mega Man X3. Thank God. Um, y it is not one, you know, one life and you're dead. That would really suck. Yeah, right, I'm gonna switch to Trevor here. It does take a little while to switch, but I kind of need him to... Because, like... Like Emload said, um, Dracula cannot attack on the stairs. I did not mean to switch again. I'm gonna switch back to Trevor. Hold on. Yeah, it's more like Zero and Mega Man in, in basically every other game in the series. Just... Alright. Right. Wall chicken, please? No? Okay. Alright, just need to be careful here. Move, 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 I'm dead. All right, let's try that again. I'm really, really not happy with me only having one life, because that makes this a lot harder. I might actually just take a death here, because I am definitely in the zone where one hit is death. Is there really no wall chicken over here? No, I guess not. All right. Back to, back to Trevor, then. At least I have a weapon here. Let's keep moving. Oh, I did not mean to jump there. All right, let me let me actually get over there and then save. So, you move, move, move into a pit. Yeah, exactly. All right. I don't. The only complaint I have about the multiple characters is that it, is that it does take too long to switch. Alright, game? I... really? 
Come on, game. Stop being ridiculous. Alright, I'm gonna save right over here, because there's... I'm just taking a lot of damage here. I wanted to show off Alucard, but this stage isn't good for him. You know what that means? I don't like... I don't like that. what you're thinking of. Alright. Alright. Uh... I don't, I don't like where you're going with this. I will say, if you if you do NES controls, that's not the best idea because... Oh, showcase collection item? Okay, sure, I'll do that in a sec. Let me just get past this guy. And uh, immediately die. Hold on. Lol. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright, All right, let's stop right here. I'll save... And I will showcase a collection item. Oh, uh, let's see. What do I want to show off? Uh, I'm just trying to think about what I want to show next. Uh, yeah, I'll show these off. So, when I got... Yeah, I'll show these off, because I actually got these really recently. If I already showed these off, I apologize, but... I believe I already showed uh, off some of, my, some of my collector's coins that I got from various other things, but I actually recently got three more collectible coins. So this is the Super Mario 64 collector's coin. Uh, if it's a little hard to see, I apologize, but you should be able to see it right there. And then on the back, we have Wing Mario, kind of like that. Uh, we have the Super Mario Sunshine collector's coin. I'll show all three of them because they came in a three set. So it only makes sense to show through all three at once. Okay, this is Super Mario Sunshine one, you have Mario with Flood. And finally, here is the Super Mario Galaxy uh, collector's coin. Again, I got all three of these in a in a three-pack that came with uh, stuff. It was for Super Mario 3D All-Stars. So, there you go. Pretty happy that I got these. Yeah, I'm also really happy that we got new 2D art for the renders. It looks really cool. Um, I don't know if I showed the other two off, but... Um, I also have coins for Super Mario Odyssey and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I will show those off the next time someone redeems collector, uh, showcase collector's item. Why am I walking off the- I swear I am pressing down. Thank you. Let me switch to Alucard again. Alright. Right. I gotta watch for these blocks. Alright. Okay, it's this guy again. And, and I immediately die. Great. Alright. Please let this just be the end of it. One, two. Oh, for the love of... Okay, this is gonna... This is gonna be horrible. Because I literally only have one life. Is there, is there no wall chicken in here? Oh, well there's that, I guess. Nope, I guess not. Yeah, I don't really see how to do this. There's not really... Yeah, I, I don't have a way to do that. So I'm going to have to go through the stage again. No big deal, but I just... I literally just don't have enough life to get through it otherwise. Yeah, let me, let me load. Oh, well now I'm going to load back here. So let me intentionally die. And then I'll save over here. Take that. Alright. There we go. This will hopefully be a little bit easier. Oh, for the love of... Can I please stop being super bad at this game? Alright. There we go. I don't know why I'm being super bad at this game, but I definitely am. At least this is unique. I'm showing off a different... Really, game? Really? I hate those stupid... Oh my god. I keep dying to those... I keep getting hit by that stupid saw blade. Thank you. Alright, let's get out of here. All right, switch back to Trevor, because I can't attack on stairs. Oh, wait, I'm back to my freaking really silly whip. 
want that. Uh, yeah, I'll take the dagger. That's fine. Right. Oh, really, game? Right. Come on! I... I was aiming the wrong way. Come on. This way. There we go. No, do not. Okay. I was about to say, if I fell off there, I would have been pretty annoyed. Right. Hold on, wait. Save. Thank you. Alright. Now this boss should be a little more fair. Alright. Although, I want to actually switch back to Alucard for this. So that way I can get his full upgrade. Hopefully this boss fight will be... Oh, jeez. This isn't going great. Not doing a lot of damage here. Jesus, there are a lot of bones. I'm... Okay, I'm dying really quickly. What? I must be doing something wrong. Maybe this boss fight would be better as Trevor? I mean, I could see that. Save right here. Right, yeah, maybe this boss fight is better as Trevor. I don't know. The bone zone, yeah. Welcome, mod, uh, community mod, mod gen. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, this boss fight is definitely better as Trevor. Still doing, still kind of struggling a little bit, but it's going a little bit better. Right. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, great. Oh, okay, that was not good. Right, let's try try again as Alley Card, because I think I could have done a little bit better as Alley Card. Alright. Yeah, I just want to scroll them on screen, so that way I can do this. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure Trevor will be better for this. Yeah, I, didn't, I just wanted, wanted to get out of there. Oh, come on! Oh my god, can you stop? Okay, I'm doing really terribly against this boss. Okay. Oh, for the love of... Yep, I'm trying. Unfortunately, I'm not doing great. Keep getting hit by the, um... By those bone things. I, I really... I'm trying to scroll it on screen and then jump back over here so I can just do this. So that way I can jump up here. Oh, for the love of God. Can you please? Am I, am I missing something? Because I feel like I am. Okay, I'm definitely missing something. What is it? Whenever I hit him, does the, does the bone spawn? Is that it? Because I feel like that's the gimmick. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the gimmick. Oh my, the bone is so annoying. Oh my, can you stop? Oh, this is, this is really hard. At least this boss fight isn't super long, but still. Let's do that. I swear to God, the bones. I, th those bones are the worst. How do I dodge those? Oh my God, the bones are just... These bones are so bad! Like, seriously, they just, they freaking destroy you. Right. I'm stuck. Move, move, move. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, there we go. I understand what to do now. It's a little hard, but I think I can do it. I completely missed, but okay. 
Yeah, you basically have to make sure you don't spawn too many bones on the screen or else this will happen. Alright, that was bad. That was a bad idea. Alright, I think I understand what it's going for now. Dang it! Come Can you- Okay, I'll take that. That's useful. Ah! Also, not all Metroidvania boss fights are hard. Like, you should have seen that the, the final boss of this game is not super difficult. You'll, you'll see when we get there. We already did this once. I, I meant to jump there, but it didn't quite work. Oh my god. I'm just, I'm just completely, okay, I am completely failing at this, come on. I am much better at this game than this. Trying to, there we go, trying to do that. This is, this is the first boss all over again, it's just, oh my god. Wait for it. No! I think I understand. I thought I understood, but I do. Oh, great. Now I'm just. Okay. Let me see if I can just kill him like this. No, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, Grant probably would have been better first. Alright. Come on, I, I should not be I should not be locked at this boss fight. This is really stupid. Oh my god, I did not mean to do that. Oh my come on. No, I keep missing the bones. Ugh, this is annoying. No oh god. I can't hit him that many times. Okay, I'm just really, really bad at this. Come on. Actually, maybe using Alucard would be better for this, actually. At least, maybe. Because I might be able to hit more of the bones more quickly. I know I'm a bigger target, but... Just wish I wouldn't get hit like that immediately. Jump! Ah, oh, couldn't get past that fast enough. Dang it! This is this is really bad. No, dang it! I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this boss fight as Trevor since I think I have more luck beating it like this. Alright. Alright, and again, I'm gonna be safe states here just because I don't want it this to take forever. I'm gonna lead him over here. And then I Cannot believe I did that. Come on. Right. Move him over here and then do this. There we go. Okay, I think I might have figured out a pattern. Not bad. I should not have done that. Okay, now he's up there. Of course, now I only have one thing, which isn't good, but... I... come on. Alright. Shouldn't have done that. Alright. Wait for that bone. Nope. Alright, I need to refill. Sorry, sorry about all the, all the save states, I just... I just want to keep this uh, playthrough going, basically. 
I don't want it to stop here and have us take for Are you kidding me? The other boss fight was not this difficult. The one on the other stage, I mean. Saving is important? Yeah, it's true. No! Ugh. Are you kidding me, game? What was that? I have no idea what that- oh my god, I'm just being really bad at this game now, come on. Yeah, I'm, I'm just being re oh, I'm, this, is gonna, this is gonna take too long is the problem. Ah, oh, it's gonna- I'm gonna, I'm gonna run out of time is what I'm worried about now. Alright, I'm just gonna- all right, I'm gonna save here. Just because I, I know I took a lot of damage, but I don't really have a choice. Oh my, I beg to differ on that one. All right, that's fine. Nope. All right, come on. All right, I could probably just whip him to death here. I think I have enough health. There we go. That was a tough boss, not gonna lie. That was pretty tough. Okay, I guess you can't catch that in midair. I was thinking like ghosts and goblins where you could catch the key in midair, but that didn't quite work. All right, well, we, we beat the level. That's nice. Whew, that was a tough level for sure. Hey, at least we got the, uh, we got to the castle. It's much faster than last time. I'll hydrate and stretch. I think the way it works is that the upper level that we took is 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 harder, but it's also shorter, I think, is the way it works. Whereas the lower level is uh is longer, but it's also easier. Catching the key in midair is so satisfying. I definitely agree with that. Oh, I gotta stretch too. Yeah. Yeah, if you guys have played Ghosts and Goblins, if you you can catch the end level key, which is very similar to the orb in Castlevania in midair, and it's really satisfying to do that. Time for the groovy beat? Oh, hell yeah. Wait, what? Oh, I am pressing, I, I literally grabbed my Switch Pro Controller, the Smash Bros one, instead of the, which is connected to my Switch, obviously. Instead of the, um, <laughs> instead of my actual Pro Controller, or not my actual one, they're both actual Pro Controllers, but my uh, other Switch Pro Controller. I'll take this, sure, that's fine. I am an idiot. Yep. All right. All right, Alucard, your turn. Ooh, I'll take that. Ooh, okay, there we go. All right, let's play, let's play as Alucard for a little bit. We did do this playthrough as a, to get Alucard for a reason, so. I actually do really like playing as Alucard. He's pretty fun. I would say, if I die as soon as I say that, I swear to God. Oh, okay, well, I guess I died there. He's pretty, he's, he's a little difficult to use, but his, his attack where he does that is really use, is really cool. All right. Yeah, you just gotta be careful here because of the mermaids. The mermen, I guess, in this case. All right, All right. Yeah, just watch out. I know he can fly, I actually just forgot how to do it. Is it, is it down and, no. It's not up in that. I forgot, I, I know Alucard can fly, I just completely forgot how you're supposed to do it. Okay, I kind of failed there. Oh my, really? All right, that was bad. Let's try that again. I know the, the coolest part about him is flying, I just forgot to do it. Okay, I'm just being really bad at this game, come on. Gotta wait for that platform to come back. Come on. How do you, how do you fly? I honestly cannot remember off the top of my head, but I know that it's really fun to use that. I guess I need a sub weapon. Although I don't, I don't, I, don't, I haven't found a sub weapon to do that yet, so. All right, let's 
go up here. This. Jumping down? Oh. Alright. Yeah, let's try it. Can I please stop failing? Please. Oh, yeah, there we go. It does consume a lot of hearts, though, so you do have to be careful. The only sub weapon for Alucard is a stopwatch, yeah. So yeah, th that's the main reason why you would want to use Alucard is because the flight ability is really useful. It breaks some platforming sections of this game in half. I just forgot how to do it, which is unfortunate. Thanks for reminding me, Emload. Alright. Well, I definitely want that, but I'm gonna take some damage there, unfortunately. That. Oh, geez. I'm gonna switch to Trevor for this part because these guys take a while to kill, otherwise. Oh, for the love of. Oh, come on, game. This is being stupid. These guys take forever to kill, I swear to God. Oh, for the love of... Uh, Alright, well, we took a lot of damage there, but we'll just have to roll with it for now. Alright. Yeah, switch back to Alucard. Can you... Alright. Right. Take care of that. Although, I think there's a wall chicken. There must be... There might be a wall chicken in there somewhere. Nope. Alright. All right, let's just load. Nope, load. Oh, I'm back here. Ugh. Uh, all right. Dang it. Ugh. All right. Community mod 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 chen mod chen. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, I apologize. Uh, we didn't highlight my message and says, "Did you see the polygon bit about finding Castlevania's hottest monster?" I did not, but. That is a very interesting idea for a video that I ne would not necessarily think of when thinking Castlevania. Especially because these monsters, you know, want to kill me. But I will definitely give it a watch. That is an interesting concept. Right, I think there's a wall chicken in here, if I remember correctly. Maybe I think of a different area. Oh god. Oh, come on. Oh, that's not good. I swear there was wall chicken over here. Oh, I don't, well, I don't, I don't want to load the manual. Back to Alucard. Oh! Ah. Oh, for the love of... Thank you. Right. No wall chicken? I really thought there was one. Maybe it's in the other... It's in the next area. Well, not getting that big card, unfortunately. I'll just have to save here with this little health. Ugh, that's annoying. I don't have many hearts anyway, so if I have to die, it's whatever. Okay, that's really bad. Come on. Alright. There we go. Uh, you could fly here, but I don't think it's particularly worth it, at least in this area. We'll have to duck here, though. I don't think I can stand up. Oh, okay, I guess I can stand up, but not much more. Yeah, that this is an example of why Alucard can be pretty useful, because you can do this. And his multi-directional shooting is definitely pretty useful, as opposed to, si uh, let's say, Simon Trevor's straight shooting whip. Okay, I'm just being really bad. All right. Yeah, let's take care of this guy. It's also farther reaching, obviously. Come on. Geez, you are taking a lot of hits. There we go. Alright. There. Oh, that's unfortunate. I guess we're not getting that. Okay, there we go. It's like there's definitely wall chicken coming up. 
It's right there. Alright. Alright, let me save right here. Alright. Don't you love how Alucard looks like he's 35 in this game and then goes back to adult teen in Symphony of the Night? Well, to be fair, I think Symphony of the Night technically takes place before this game, so that makes sense. Oh, I'm dumb. Uh, yeah, let's switch to Trevor for this part. This, this part is a little bit better for Trevor, so... Because that way I can whip these things. I went the complete wrong way. Actually, I wonder if I can... Oh, no, I remember I, you can't shoot uh, while you're on the staircases, Alucard. All right, I'll take it. It's fine. All right, is this the boss over here? No. Okay, actually it is. All right. Oh god, it's it's the creature. Whoa, that is pretty difficult to dodge. All right, I guess you go over here if you want to dodge that, yeah. Jeez, this will be a difficult boss. Really? Alright. Alright, over it. Hold on a second. Guys, give me give me one second. I gotta hold on. Sorry about that. Symphony of the Night takes place in 1797, where Dracula's Curse is 1476. Yeah, I figured as much. I was like, I, I remember Symphony of the Night takes place um, before Dracula's Curse. I, I remember that. All right, well, I'm definitely going to die, because, yeah, I'm not doing great. Do I have to hit his head? Yeah, I'm dead. I don't remember if I have to hit his head or not. I don't think so. I think I can just hit the other parts of it. Well, my main problem here is that he's... Okay, yeah. Okay, I don't, I don't... Well, I can't... I do have to hit his head, but... I also can just do this, so... That's not good. Oh, come on. Come on. Keep going. Oh, okay, that's... Oh, I'm dead. Alright, this, this shouldn't be too bad. I just have to be a little more careful. Friggin' creature. Dang it. Alright. Alright, just gotta be careful. Alright. Almost got him, actually. Uh-oh. Got him! Nice! Get out of here, creature! Alright. Oh, and there's the orb. For some reason, I thought we were going to the door, but we are not. Alright. Nice. Alright. Let's keep going up. And yes, and we'll do a posture check in a moment. Yep, alright, there we go. Posture check. Alright, nice. That. Oh, wait, I forgot I can't attack while on the stairs of Alley Card. Right. So, Trevor it is. At least for this part. I'll take the axe, yeah, that'll, that'll be a little bit better for this part. Here. Oh, God. More hunchbacks. Do <laughs> yeah, this part's just waiting, honestly. We'll switch to card though. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Oh, I'll take a heart, that's nice. I can also do this. 
kill you. Yeah, let's fly a little bit. There we go. That's all right, Mload. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Stuff happens. It's all good. All right. Oh, geez. That was close. Is there anything in this one? Yes, and I also got hit there, so I'm gonna refresh this. Yep, let's get out of here. I don't wanna get hit by those bats. Good luck and put that drac back into the grave. Ain't that the truth? All right, well for this one, we can also just fly. Well, that wasn't great. I was about to say, I just realized I kind of made a mistake on, on loading my save there. All good, though. This, is, this, this part's pretty easy. Alright. Save here. This part, we should be able to fly over if we do this right. There we go. Yeah, we can just do that. Kind of skips that part entirely. All right. uh, these guys are annoying. Thankfully they die in one hit to Dracula's uh, ball attack, but still. All right. Oh, I'm an idiot. All right. Oh, Jesus, I forgot to save again. Okay, can we please not fail? That'd be nice. Alright, uh, yeah, let's save over here this time. Save over here. Whoops, alright, I guess I missed that one. Shout. Alright, there we go. Let's try it again. And once again, flying is our best friend. Just be careful when you're flying, though, because obviously you don't want to run out of hearts. That'd be really bad. Oh, what's this? Wall chicken. Well, I'll take it now, I guess. Can I please shoot the right way? Thank you. Let's say, I don't need the wall chicken. Well, I need it now. Looking skeletons. There we go. Wanna take care of that slime thing. Oh, I can't jump? All right, well, I guess that makes sense because the ceiling's too low. Oh, are you kidding me? That's stupid, come on. Oh, I'll take that. That's nice. Now up here. All right. Stupid slime. There we go. That, okay. Unfortunately, not really a great way to deal with this guy. So let's just use Trevor so we can use the axe. Nope. All right. Let's just walk down here then. Get out of here. Alright, so now we're gonna have this bat guy. I know he's definitely gonna be weak to uh, Trevor's axe, so let's use Trevor again. If I can hit him with the axe. Come on, stop missing. Come on! Okay, now I'm just being really bad at this game. There we go, nice. Very clean kill. On to the next part. 
All right, now this part especially will be very nice to play as Dracula because we can just fly up and basically skip this whole section. So watch this. Well, if I don't get hit, that is. Oh, I'm gonna get hit here. So yeah, if we time this right, we can actually just fly up. Oh, for the love of... We should be able to just fly, but it can be a little difficult because you have to be really careful about the blocks. And unfortunately, I'm kind of failing at this. Ah, okay. Yeah, you, you cannot get hit there or else you're, you're dead. But let's see if I can do this correctly because I know it's possible. There we go. Now we do it again. And nice. There we go. There's that section, which took us like a, at least a couple of minutes last time in like 30 seconds. And of course, as soon as I say that, I immediately get hit. And I'm back down here like an idiot. All right, let's try this again because I messed up. Hold on. Oh, come on. Of course, I had to save in, in, in a really bad spot. Hold on. Yep, I got it. Ugh. I did it once. I can do it again. Come on. Oh, my. Okay, now I'm just being really, really bad. Come on. This really is not that difficult. Oh, I guess I can just go that way. There we go. Much better. Up here. I completely beg to differ on that one game, but okay. Uh, what? I'm getting hit by the... Uh, that's annoying. Alright, there we go. Okay, yeah. Trevor is going to be the right Belmont to use here. Well, at least I think so, yeah. Get out of here. Up here. All right. Oh, geez, these guys. How many hit? Oh, my. I didn't even hit them once. Come on. Oh, geez. I have to remember to save more often. That was just really bad. Come on. There we go. Right. Up here. All right. Can I please not fail this? Oh, it's, it's one hit, too. All right, well, I just have to not be bad, then. There we go. My, there we go. Not bad at all. Oof. All right, let's keep going. Uh, I could fly across there. Not going to. I'm going to do this. There is something down there, though. I know that. I think it's a one-up, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Well, and of course I immediately die when I do that, so that didn't quite help. You can't jump out of there, because Alucard's a little taller than Trevor, so... You can't jump out of all of the, uh, spots that Trevor could. Yeah, I'll just wait. Could jump like that, but... Eh. Yeah, there we go. It's fine. Yeah, I can do it. I beat this game without save states, actually. It's just, it's been a long time since I've done that, honestly. I forget when I did that. I want to say that was on the Wii? Was that the Wii or the Wii U? I can't remember. Oh, this, oh yeah, by the way. Time for flight. To skip the whole room. Yeah. <laughs> Alucard is so broken at points. Alright. Alright. Alright, just gotta be careful with the stupid Medusa heads. Actually, I think this part would be easier as... Yeah, we're definitely using Trevor for this part. Because Trevor can kill the Medusa heads in one go, and he has the axe, so... Yeah, we're using Trevor for this part. Oh, I'll definitely take that, though. That's gonna be very useful. I don't want the cross. Oh, dang it. 
Oh, dang it. Yeah, Alucard's flying is really useful, but you're right. Grant has extra movement options. That's why Grant is cool, and I died like an idiot. Whatever. Oh, for the love of... Come on, the Medusa heads. There we go. I have to switch to the at the cross now, but that's fine. Yeah, Grant can actually move midair, which is... Oh, that's so helpful. Alright. Alright, back to... Uh, actually, I'll do this. Now we'll switch back to uh, Alucard. I just wish it was more like in, I, I mean, I understand why this is, you know, it's because it's an NES game and everything, but it would have been nice if it was more instantaneous like it is in Bloodstained, Curse of the Moon. But again, NES game, that's completely fair. All right, let's take care of this guy. Random soldier. All right. All right, time for the auto-scrolling section. All right. Oh, right. Can't attack on stairs. And I immediately die. Thanks. Alright. Gotta be careful here. Ah! Might have just screwed myself with that. Alright, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna play as I'm gonna play as Trevor for this part. Just so I don't, you know, die. So I can take out that skeleton. That's much that's better. Now back to Alucard. Wait. At least the game is nice enough to pause the auto scrolling while you switch. Alright. Alright, take out the skeleton. There we go. You think you have a ah, I see what you did there. Move, 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 move. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I bet to differ again. I'll save here, but I don't have much health left, so that's kind of a problem. Hoping for some wall chicken, although I think there is one a little later in the stage. Time for flying. I re really game, really? Really? <sighs> That's annoying. Right, I'm just gonna go over here. This this will be a little easier. Right. That's much easier. Alright, yeah, that, that's better. Do not I swear to god! They they spawned in before I could even do anything. That's ridiculous. I'm gonna kill that skeleton all the way over here. Or not. I don't want to die, obviously. Yeah, I'll just go up this way. Into a death trap? No, we're going the other way. I can get over there first, though. Right. Can I kill the skeleton this time? No, I guess not. Let's save here. I... Why did I only do one point of damage that time instead of killing him? There we go. Now climb really quickly because I don't want those guys to respawn. Oh yeah, right over here is the wall chicken. There it is. That's nice. Oh, but coming up is... Oh, coming up is one of the hardest boss fights in the game. That's going to be annoying. Alright. 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 Come on, let's kill him. Come on. Come on. There we go. You can skip those guys at least. Yeah, this boss is pretty hard. Alright. Because it's three phases, basically. Hopefully we can do this. Alright. Alright. Yeah, first we got these mummy guys. Alright, come on. 
Dang it. Uh, I lost a little too much health there. I'm going to do it again. I think we should be able to just stand over here and just spam Y, at least, at least as far as I know. Well, that one hit me, unfortunately. Let's get out of here. Oh, yeah, we can just we can just spam Y over here. That's fine. I wish that one didn't hit me. Come on. There's always one that hits me, which is really annoying. Cause he like goes above or below my. I swear to God, it always goes above or below my uh, my stupid orb thing. I really game really re really really okay well I guess I have to take that one hit because I can't because I, I can't do that otherwise okay there we go nope that one always hits me dang it save here alright come on Alright, come on. Come on. No! I made a mistake. Ah, uh, dang it. I swear to God. That's about as much health as I'm willing to take there, as much damage. Come on, come on, there we go. Alright, next phase of the fight. This part is probably the hardest part. Alright, you gotta be really careful in this part. Because it will basically rush at you. And you don't want to get rushed at, that's really bad. Dang it! Actually, I think Trevor would probably be best for this part because I don't think I think I think if you hit his um yeah, because that way I can do this. This part was pretty difficult with with even with just with, with just Trevor. This was really hard. All right, let me switch to Trevor for this because otherwise I feel like I'm gonna lose. Do that. Come on. No. Yeah, this, this part I'm definitely gonna be saving a lot because it's it's pretty difficult. Alright. This part can get pretty difficult pretty quickly because he because if he rushes at you, you have to be really fast. Uh, stop rushing at me for once, please. Ah, uh, dang it, he keeps rushing. And like I said, if he rushes, you, you do not have time to hit him. Well, okay, I hit him once there, but otherwise, yeah. I wonder if it's because he, I'm getting too far away from him or something like that. That could be it. No, it's not that. I didn't mean to do that. There we go, hit him another time. Come on. I didn't mean to whip that way, come on. Is it because I'm getting too far away from him? No, that's definitely not it. Or does he just always do that and, and he gets low? Ah! So hard to hit him when he rushes at you. Oh, and of course, the one time he doesn't rush at me, I, you know, I miss. Okay, well, I hit him that Really, game? Really? Really? Ugh, that's annoying. Come on. Can I... Really? I, I, every time I want to turn around, like, I, I just don't turn around. That's so... 
There we go, got him. I was like one away from hitting him and couldn't do it. All right. Let's try, let's try using Alucard for this, because I have a feeling Alucard might actually be easier for this phase. And I'll posture, yeah, I'll posture check on it, hang on. Yeah, all right, thanks, Kyrus, appreciate it. All right, much better. All right, yes, this part is basically a giant dragon. Whoops, all right. Don't know the best track because you fought him with Sifa, that's fair. Oh, great. Dang it, I should have flown over him on that one. Okay, can't do that. Oh, geez, that's bad. Dang it! So hard to get under him. There we go. There we go, okay, we're making good progress now. Yeah, we got this, we got this. There we go, got him. All right, give me that red orb. Okay, now you explode. On the first playthroughs, we had like four seconds left. Now we have 158, that's pretty good. All right, nice. And got our health back, on to the next stage. All right. All right, guess what, it's deja vu. Love a song. Yeah, we're, we're gonna use Trevor here. I mean, it's, I mean, it's tradition at this point. It's, it's, I mean, the song is Vampire Killer. I love this. I love this. I love this level. It's just such a great, great song, great throwback to Castlevania 1. Everything about this level is just amazing. Actually, all right, yeah. Get out of here. All right, I'm gonna do that. Actually, right here would be better for Alucard, because I can just do this. I can just do this. Lol, get wrecked. Right. Nice. Oh, this is good. Here's me almost dead, come on. There we go. Take that. Take, well, I won't take that one, but going up. Yeah, every iteration of Vampire Killer is so good. Alright, let's save here. Dang it! Alright, All right. watch out. Oh, jeez! Alright, jumping forward is probably not the best idea in this level, I guess, because of those guys. I was a little worried about those spider guys, but we're good. Whew. All right, do this part. All right. All right. There. All right. Dang it! Those slimes are so annoying. Oh, well, I'll take the wall chicken. Oh, really, game? Freaking bone. Freaking bones. 
We're definitely switching to Trevor here so I can hit those stupid skeletons. Oh, really? I picked a different on that one, but whatever. Right, there we go. Those bone guys, yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah, that's just so I can hit those stupid slimes. And switch back to Alucard for this. I, I love that they had a character switching mechanic all in the, in like, on the NES. That is so cool. Like, the fact that they even got this to work is just incredible. I, I, I just wish I could show this during the first playthrough, but again, because we were doing Trevor only, I could not. But, oh, uh, it's so cool that they got this to work. Right. It is really impressive, yeah. It does take a bit long, and I will say that is one of my only gripes with this game, but the fact that they got it working at all is just really impressive, so I'm okay with it taking a bit long if it, if, you know, if that's what it takes. Right. Come on. These guys take a lot of hits, but at least they die um, by doing this. And it's a little bit harder with Trevor. Yep. Nice. All right. Grab that. Oh, switching back to Trevor for this guy, for this stupid slime, that's for sure. Yeah, get out of here. Like I said, it's, it's, it's better implemented in something like Bloodstained Curse of the Moon, where, um, where it's like instantaneous. It really, that really offers up so many possibilities. And I'm glad that Bloodstained revisited that. I do want to play Bloodstained sometime as a, as a Let's Play, because I love that series. I'm not as... I'm not great at Metroidvanias, but Curse of the Moon is... Oh, it's so good. Also, I have, like, not a lot of health, so this might make a difficult death fight for us. I don't know if there's a wall chicken in here somewhere. Probably not, if I had to guess. Alright, we gotta jump over this guy. Otherwise, we won't make it. All right, here's Death. Death is one of the hardest bosses in this game. Probably, I would say, the hardest boss in this game, in my opinion. All right, so we can kill him really quickly. I didn't mean to jump there, but okay. All right. Okay, that was so much easier using Alucard. Are you serious? Like... Okay, I died there, but that was so much easier using Alucard. What? No, but that, that wasn't even hard. Like, when I did that as, as Trevor, it took me forever. Doing it as Alucard, like, that was the first try. I should have saved, but still. That was absurd. Also, to be fair, death is really easy in both Castlevania 1 and Castlevania 2, so... I wouldn't say it's hard just because it's death. Because, like I said, if you know how to cheese death in CV1, it, he's a complete joke. Alright, I shouldn't have done that, but... Alright. Right. Watch, now that I've said that, I'm gonna have a lot of trouble with him, but I... That was so much easier playing as, as Alucard. I meant to shoot the other way. Okay, now I'm now I'm gonna have trouble with him, of course. Because I didn't save. Like an idiot. Like an idiot, I didn't save. Okay, yeah, come on. I didn't hit him at all, are you serious? I beg to differ on that one game. Come on! Okay, this is... Really? Oh, I wish I saved. Ah, oh, it's so annoying. I want to see if I can do it again with more health, but... Of course, ah, oh, of course as soon as they say that I die, dang it.
Okay, now I'm... Come on. Please don't make a mockery of me, please. No, no! I had him to three health! Oh, I was so close. All right, I got the strategy. Look at this. Look at that. That was so clean. I don't even, I think I took like, what, one hit? All right, now for the second phase. Which is much easier than the first, by the way. Of course, as soon as I say that, I take a hit, but still. All right. Dang it, okay. Let's try that again. Okay, I, I don't exactly know how to deal with that part, but I think if I just go over here, I'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be fine over there. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, this is... There we go. Look at this. Okay, well, that was bad, but... No! Down to three health again. Dang it. Yeah, just gotta be careful of those sides. Alright, one more hit and dead. Nice. Yeah, that was so much easier as Alucard. What the heck? Like, it's not even close how much easier that was as Alucard. Alright, there we go. Alright, next stage. Uh, we got two more. This, the boss in this stage is actually pretty hard, and I have a feeling it's gonna be harder actually with Alucard, so. Alright. Alright. I do love this music though. Yeah, Alucard freaking destroys death. I mean, I guess that makes sense considering, um. I thought my, my light was off for some reason. Uh. I guess that makes sense on some level considering, you know, Alucard's a vampire, so. Naturally, he'd be a little harder to kill. Okay, come on. Oh, do not! Oh, Jesus. Okay, this should not be happening. Alright. Go up here. Alright. Save here. I'm gonna actually use Trevor here, because Trevor's a little bit better for this part. This is uh, his whip is really useful. Yeah, the whip is definitely a little bit better here. Of course I miss. Yeah, you have to really make sure the hunchbacks do not overwhelm you, otherwise you will be screwed. Oh my god, please stop. No, damn it. All right. No, no, uh, no, I didn't mean to do that. That's unfortunate. There's probably something up there. Actually, let's see what's up there because I can fly up there with Alucard. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, it's a heart, I guess. All right. Next, Trevor. Uh, yeah, like I said, do not let the hunchbacks overwhelm you, or else you will die. Uh, 
There we go. There we go. I don't want that. No! Stop spawning behind me. It really makes progress a lot harder. That guy up there, I can't do anything about, so I'm just gonna go up here. I took one hit, that's fine. Okay, I wanna save here. First Alley card. Alright, here. Uh, watch out for these crushers. Just trying to watch out for these things. Yeah, this song is really good. Castlevania has some amazing 8 bit tunes, seriously. Right. I'm, gonna say, I'm gonna take a hit here. I don't know what that is, but... Dang it! Alright, well I have like no health left, which is a problem. I'M DEAD! Alright, should've saved early- I should've saved a little bit later, but... That's bad. Alright. Right. Watch, watch it. Makes me want to bully skeletons. <laughs> right, we're, gonna, we're gonna switch this Trevor here, because he's definitely better for attacking on ladders. Can't quite hit him. I hate those things! I hate those things. Those things are so annoying. Oh my god. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna start saving a little bit more often in this room. Because this room is super annoying. Literally just because of these guys. Alright. Let's do this. I... Really? Alright, I guess, I guess if I don't duck there, I get hit, so... Unfortunate. Alright. Get out of here. I'm gonna do that. I completely beg to differ, but okay. Can I hit it like that? Okay. Ooh, that was good. Only problem is that I'm wasting a lot of hearts doing this, so... Oh, dang it! That was that would have been useful. That moment when something comes out of the graveyard next door, oh no. Oh no. That, that's a problem. Oh, I swear to God, those stupid... Really, game? Those stupid... Alley, those stupid gargoyle guys. And I love gargoyles too. Why does it have to be gargoyles? Of all of all the uh, creatures of the night, it had to be gargoyles. Because I love gargoyles. I mean, Gargoyles Quest, for example, is one of my favorite uh, Game Boy games. Out of here. Yeah, let's take that out so I can grab that. Nope. While playing Castlevania 3? Oh no. <laughs> You're here. Right. Beat this guy. And take care of this one. Nice. 
up here. All right, now comes the uh, auto scrolling section. Yeah, gargoyles on buildings are pretty neat. I agree with that. All right, I'm gonna fly. There, there we go. That way I can do this. All right, so now we have this section, which is a little weird, but eh, whatever. You basically just have to keep moving because otherwise the uh, otherwise you'll get uh, crushed. I couldn't jump there. Dang it. All right, let's try that again. It's a little tough, but why? That'll be better. <laughs> yeah, it's better. Stay here. I'm not even gonna go for that. Hold on. Yeah, let's just do this. That's better. If I remember correctly, there is something over here. Yeah, it's a wanna. I don't know, that's very useful. We'll fly again. There we go. Get up these stairs. Take that. Quickly. Nothing over here. All right, I'm gonna go over here and then, oh, dang it. All right, well, I guess I'll take that hit. All right. right what's up here? That's eh, one heart, that's not great. Climb. There's a wall chicken right over here, if I remember correctly. Yep, there we go. Let's say if I die there, I swear to God. Through the door. This bar can be a little difficult. Alright, you're still wondering why they depict the firebrand is green on the box art? I have an answer to that, actually. The reason why in Gargoyle's quest. Um, Firebrand is green is because they, they, remember, back in the day, the Game Boy used a, the Game Boy screen, uh, was, was, was monochrome, so, as a result, it could only display one color, really, and, um, back in the day, that was mostly green, during the original models of the Game Boy, at least, so, when the artists saw the, um, when the artist saw, um, oh jeez. When the artist saw Fire or Firebrand, they thought he was green because of the fact that he was green in the game, because everything was green. So, that's also the same reason why Kirby was white uh, on the box art of Kirby's Dream of Kirby of Kirby's Dreamland. I'm dead. Or at least I'm gonna take a hit. Same reason, because they they thought because at the time the Game Boy used a white monochrome screen, and the artist thought he was white as a result, even though you know we know, all know now that he's pink. Oh jeez, that was close. All right. A little low on health for the boss fight, but um, he's Trevor here. I think we might be able to come out on top if we play it right. Nice! Alright, jump over the Medusa heads, and here comes the boss. I don't remember if there's a chicken in here. There probably isn't, so... Alright. This boss, we're definitely using Trevor. I do remember there was a... Right. Yeah. Dang it. Right. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, we're definitely gonna die. Alright. This boss is pretty difficult. Really? He just jumped immediately?
Ah, this boss is pretty brutal, I remember this. Forget how I did it on my first playthrough. Maybe maybe playing as, as Alucard would be better here, I don't know. Although I can't really do that because... Because I know he switches forms if you... yeah. Actually, no, that's way worse. Yeah, Alucard's not a good idea there. Might, I honestly think it might be, might be better if I just die here because I don't think I'm gonna beat it like this. Yeah, there's there's no way. Let's just try doing it like this. Oh, but I have to go all the way back here? No, we, we gotta do it. Ugh, this is gonna be annoying. All right. All right, I'm gonna have to use a lot of save states here. Nope. Oh, for the love of... I swear to God. Right. Yeah, a lot of save states here. Sorry, guys. Yeah, it's... All right. Let's go back here. Oh, I wish I would stop missing that jump. That's really annoying. All right, I think I found an exploitable pattern, actually, but... Well, if I don't miss... Like I just did... Yeah, I'm not gonna... Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, I keep missing my jumps. That's really annoying. All right, that was good. Hit him like twice there. All right, that's not good. Mm, no. All right, might be able to do it. No! He had one health! Damn it! Alright, I'm gonna do this. I didn't mean to drop down there. I keep dropping when I don't want to. That is the worst. I... Why do I keep dropping off the platform? I swear to God. Take that. Yep, I was so close. I think I might have gotten it this time, though. Alright. Dang it! Nope, not quite. Got him. Okay, there we go. Yeah, Do Doppelganger is probably one of the harder boss fights in this game. I'd say him and Death are the two hardest. I know that sounds weird considering Dracula is the final boss, but eh. Dr Dracula is basically hard because he's three phases. His actual patterns are not that bad. Yeah, there we go. Alright, and I will definitely hydrate. Oh, I love this stage, especially. Alright. By the way, how is the achievement tracker working? Is that working okay? I didn't really get to test it out that much. There's a hydrate. Oh, there's two hydrates actually from Trash Man and Chivas. Alright. Move on. Alright. Oh, jeez. These birds are gonna be annoying. Let's. Achievement tracker's working perfectly. I'm glad. Alright. Get out of here. Oh! I cannot believe that actually happened.
Right, and down here we go. Right. Gotta be careful with this part, because there's... Cause if you, if you, yeah, if you do, if you, if you jump there, then that happens. Alright. Basically, you want to walk down here. That way you just fall through. Medusa heads. Well, I'll, I'll, that was unexpected, but I'll take it. I do want to grab the stopwatch, though. Or not. Uh, yeah, we'll just keep going. I do want to switch to Trevor here, though, because this part can be pretty annoying, especially with the Medusa heads. And Trevor, thankfully, kills him in one hit. Oh, dang it. Okay. Ah! All right, let's reload. Yeah, basically. Alright. Yeah, I'm switching to Trevor. Alright. Alright. There we go, nice. Really? No, I keep loading the manual by accident. I still don't know why the manual has an Xbox 360 controller, considering this came out in 2018 or something like that, but I wish I would stop missing that stupid bat, that's for sure. Let me switch an alley card here would be better. Yeah, this this part being an auto-scroller is a bit much, I'll agree to that. I oh right, I can't attack while on stairs. God. So then why can't I deal with the bat? That's really annoying. All right, there we go. All right, let's take care of this. Get out of here. All right. Uh, oh, jeez. I'll take that. That's useful. All right. Uh, Alucard. All right, let's go. Really? Okay, yeah, let's not do that. Let's, let's, just, let's just stick a Simon. Cause it's, oh, right, because of this part. I remember last time I did this, I... Yeah, I just... Yeah, let's just, let's just go with that. That's fine. Especially because there is a chicken in this room, so... Alley card. Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, dang it. I want to say it was up here. Oh, no, wait. I remember where it is. At least I thought I did. Where the hell is it? Oh, it's right over here. Yeah. Alright, let's try that again, just because uh, I don't want to get it by the stupid... Yeah. I'll take the holy water, that's fine. There we go, much better. Yeah. Can you... Oh my god, I should have saved. Dang it. Ah! Please, I'm begging you. Uh. I can't dodge that. Are you serious, game? Dude, maybe Alan Card would be better here, because he can at least shoot upwards. That, yeah, that's much better. Alright, I'm gonna save here. Alright. Nope, I wanted to- I didn't want to pause the game, I just want to switch to the other character. So that way I can do this. <laughs> nice. Ooh, that's useful. That, however, is not cool. Come on. Come on, game!
Yeah, I, I can't avoid damage there, unfortunately. Let's go to the point of the alley card. Alright, well, let's, let's go up. Alright, now for this stupid platforming part. Can you not? I swear to God. Yes, let's try playing as Trevor here instead. I... I swear to God. There's that stupid skeleton up there. I can... Really, game? Really? Here. All right. Trevor. Alright. Can you please get out of the way? I can you get out of the way? Like, seriously. He's he's just literally not getting out of the way. I can't do anything about it. Ah, alright. We'll have to go with that, because I can't. I definitely need the axe, though. There we go. This part can be pretty hard, but by the same token, Dracula's flight will also be helpful here. Or Dracula. Alucard's flight will be helpful here. Uh, unless I do that, like an idiot. There we go. Get out of here. Oh, jeez. There we go. Oh, oh, wow, I did that first try. All right. Well, on to the final section. All right, I'm going to want to collect as many hearts as I can because I have the axe now. Is there a wall chicken here? No. All right, I guess we're going in with less than full. I don't really know what to do about that, unfortunately. I did not mean to switch to Trevor, but all right. All right, final boss. Let's go. Can I, can I please not do that? Yeah, you want to you want to stay pretty far away from Dracula. Because the farther are you away from Dra you are away from Dracula, um, the easier it is to dodge that attack. Yeah, this OST is, is amazing. Come on. Right. Really wish I could actually, you know, do this correctly. Okay, really? All right, I'm trying to do this without taking damage because I don't want to... That's fine. All right, I'm going to start saves coming here. Didn't want to do that. Right. Let's go over here. Can I, can I please not do that? Try staying right here. That's fine. That's too close. Whoops, shouldn't have done that. I am an idiot. Right over here, yeah, that works. That way I can do that. That's what I'm trying to look for, something like that. Yeah, you can usually hit him twice before that happens. There we go. Now for this part of the fight, which has really good music, by the way, you literally just spam the axe. Yeah, like I said, just spam the axe here. There we go. Yeah, that part is pretty easy. 
All right, all we got left is the final phase. This part is really hard because of, oh geez, because of the bottomless pit. So you do have to be careful here. I will beat him as Alucard just because why not? I know this part is probably a little bit easier as um. Okay, that's not going well. Yeah, it's so versatile. Can I please not do that? All right, let's switch to Alley card. Can I? Oh my god, this is getting ridiculous. Okay, really, game? Can I please get over to the other side? That'd be really nice. Thank you. I. Dude, come on. Yeah, this part is definitely easier as um as Trevor. Although, yeah, this part is not not even close. Yeah, easier as Trevor. Yeah, we're we're we're, we're never mind. We're, we're we're playing as Trevor for this. This is way easier as Trevor, especially with the axe. Really, game? Dang it! Ah, oh, I was doing pretty well there, and I just... You know, we're, we're doing this as Trevor. I'm sorry, but I just... This is definitely a lot easier as Trevor. I didn't mean to- uh. Dang it. Okay. Almost got him. And... Dead. Nice. Now we just wait for these platforms to go back into their proper place and or. There we go. Alright, we should get the achievement in just a minute. I'm just, I'm just looking for it. There we go. Forgive me, father, is the achievement we got for beating it, for beating Castlevania 3 with Alucard. By the way, the ending sequence will be a little bit different now. Trevor made many sacrifices. The long fight is over. Dracula is dead, and all other spirits are, are, are asleep. The battle was won by Trevor and Alucard, but Alucard feels a qu guilty, I thought that said quilty, because he killed his real father. Trevor realizes this, as he stands there, thinking about Alucard. After this fight, the Belmont name shall be honored by all people. So yeah, there we go. There is Castlevania III Dracula's Curse as uh, Trevor and Alucard. Um, unfortunately, that did take us about two hours, so I'm a little worried about doing the game again, so I probably will end it right here, honestly, because I don't think we need quite have an... Actually, you know what? Hmm. Should we keep going? Because it would be another two hours, and I don't know if I'm, I'm, I want to I wanna go through that again. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's leave it till next time. It's fine. It, well, it'll have to be four streams instead of three, but I just don't really have the energy to do this again. <laughs> And there's Grant, who's underrated, I swear to God. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. Yeah, let's watch the credits and then we'll uh, end it off right there.
Sorry about, uh, again, I'm sorry that we need to do four, basically four playthroughs of Castlevania 3, but that's what we need for the achievement, so what are you gonna do? Five out of 10, we didn't play as Grant first. Hey, don't blame me, blame, blame everyone else, because the Twitter poll, I put up the Twitter poll for like a good two days, asking who you guys wanted me to play as first, and the poll said Alucard, so. Thank you very much for playing, of course. Yeah, Grant is awesome. He needs more representation. Absolutely. All right. Well, there we go. Presented by Konami. Nice. And, of course, we can start the game again. Although, this time, I guess we begin as uh, Alucard. So. Uh, I should also replay. All right. Uh, yeah, let's exit. And there we go. That is Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse using Alucard. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, next time on Let's Play Castlevania Anniversary Collection, uh, we will be doing this again. We'll be playing Castlevania 3 again, but this time we will be using Sifa Belnatus. So that'll definitely be pretty fun. Although for those of you guys who are watching live, uh, we'll be doing something else on stream tomorrow. So hope you guys look forward to that. Uh, but for now, I gotta get going. I'm 112, signing up for now. See you all later. Have a good night, everyone.